Uh, well, yeah, everything starts from uh, uh, these three by three, uh, eleven by eleven uh, convolutions. We can say that uh, it's yeah, it's AlexNet actually. Uh, we have an image. Uh, yeah, it's the all the pixels, uh, all the numbers, uh, all the channels, and then uh, we have actually two options. One is uh, applying like this uh, eleven by eleven. A bigger size filter, uh, or the like more smaller size uh, filter. Uh, depending on the, the size, uh, we will have different information. In case of a uh, bigger filter, uh, we will catch more global information and we lose some local information. Uh, and we may have, like, we may get some like this kind of uh, output uh, after uh, applying this uh, 11 by 11. And in case we apply a smaller filter, we will catch more local information, uh, and it's it's it looks better, and we are getting the more like precise, more uh, uh, semantic information. Uh, this is yeah, this is the starting point because uh, as you know, the AlexNet start uh, use the eleven by eleven, uh, and it was good uh, for two, 2012 but uh, not enough uh, we need more like strong uh, algorithms or uh, strong like operations to catch more like semantic features uh, with less parameters with less computation maybe yeah and uh, comparing alexa and vgg uh, we already com com uh, compared by these 3 by 3 and 11 by 11 in alexa we have uh, as you see here uh, starting uh, from 11 by 11 uh, convolution uh, at the bottom and then applying other filters uh, but at the beginning since we are applying 11 by 11 uh, we are losing some uh, really uh, useful information at the very beginning and this is not so dense this is kind of uh, shallow uh, so uh, at the, the, the later slides we will talk about the deeper uh, deep, uh, deep uh, uh, concepts so uh, for that uh, timing, yeah, Alexa was uh, maybe enough, uh, but uh, applying uh, more like smaller uh, filters and then increasing number of uh, layers uh, will give us the better, uh, will help us the, to get the uh, very like useful uh, semantic information about uh, from the images. So uh, as we yeah summarize, Alexa is using. I was using 11 by 11, 3 by 3, 5 by 5, and VGGNet uh, just uh, uh, make a standard and then uh, use all the 3 by 3, and then with, uh, again multiple sp steps of convolutions. Uh, how deep? Uh, AlexNet was 7 layer, as you know, the VGG is 7, uh, 16, and the other version is uh, 18 uh, layers. Uh, when we compare the efficiency in computation, uh, AlexNet yeah, was using the five uh, convolution layers and VGG13 uh, uh, and FC layers, fully connected layers. AlexNet is three and VGG is uh, three. But parameters, uh, uh, as you see, AlexNet is less parameter than the uh, VGG because yeah, there are uh, much more uh, convolution operations and more deeper network. Uh, therefore, and then we uh, are having like more parameters to handle. And the accuracy, uh, yeah, it, uh, it's just uh, uh, the breaking point. Uh, it's reduced uh, almost 10 percent of uh, error. Uh, there is another important point here: the convolution operations and uh, fully connected operations. Uh, because Alisha will talk about the one by one. Uh, convolutions, uh, it's important to compare with one by one to uh, fully connected layers. Uh, as you see here, convolution operations have less parameters than the fully connected layers. Uh, and Alisha will uh, give some detail about this uh, difference. Yeah, uh, for AlexNet and uh, VGNet, uh, I think uh, this is uh, enough uh, uh, information to give. 